fascial releases for the hamstring, the kind of building up in intensity. <clears throat> the simplest thing we can do is with an oscillating compression and stretch, we can work over the hamstring area. Yeah, that broadly over the hamstring or we can target an individual line of a particular muscle. We can also <clears throat> simply go in and wait out the tension. The nice thing about this particular technique is very it's quite a low impact gentle fascial release is that you get a, a line right the way connecting from the hamstring into the buttock area, in, into the lumbar area. And when you get this going nicely, you can often feel a little bit of mobilization in the lower back as you're doing it. You can also, adapting things from the general massage sequence, <clears throat> pick up the hamstrings and then so it's an os oscillating technique again, giving a stretch in the tissue along the body of the tissue. This is quite hard work on your hands, particularly you have small hands, so don't do too much of this if you find it is straining your hands. Okay, ironing and chiselling are very effective over the hamstring area. Bearing in mind that in certain people this can be a very sensitive area, particularly as you work down towards the knee, and you need to take that into account as you iron. And you can iron effectively in either direction, either from the um, issue of tuberosity towards the knee or the other way. So it's a standard ironing technique. Again, I'm going to do it fast compared to full therapeutic speed. We can use, the, again, the broad width of the forearm. And what I tend to do with this is, as we come into the thinner tissue approaching the knee, I will lighten off very slightly and try to broaden the contact particularly not giving deep pressure into the popliteal fossa and take that down to the where the <clears throat> hamstrings attach just below the knee or we can target an individual line and sli so a slight change of angle in the forearm So we feel a particular line of tight cori. We can target that. We can effectively iron in the other direction. Another useful technique is to use short chiseling type movements working along a particular line of tight tissue. And we can 
can spend some time around the hamstring tendons with chiseling movements. These are all slightly speeded up, just from the point of view of not making the film too long. <clears throat> okay, so that's hamstrings, quads if you want to pop on the back. <clears throat> Before we do the quads, we'll do the, the two um, fundamental um, hamstring stretches, the straight leg raise, which we would normally do as a contract relax stretch rather than a passive stretch. So we take it to the <coughs> flexible lad, we take it to the boundary <coughs> and it would be the standard contract relax um, procedure from there. And what I tend to do, particularly with someone who's strong, is I will use my torso to give resistance rather than my arm. So I wouldn't be saying to roughly <coughs> push into my arms. I would get my torso here and I'm stabilized and that's going to be a lot easier on me. The other <coughs> hamstring stretch, which takes a We'll give it a stretch to a different line of tissue. Take the leg up flexed and then extend the knee. With many people, you'll come to a, um, a barrier somewhere around the back here. The breath and again is very flexible. <clears throat> and we would do the same stretch. This time, the instruction is not to push the whole leg down, but, the <clears throat> but to, um, to flex the knee. And we would do that same thing as a contract relax stretch. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> quads, stuff from the general sequence that can be done as fascial release is to work to separate the quads from the ITB in a series of is like a series of hook strokes each of which has a very definite fascial stretch down at the end of it. We can iron in either direction. This is a relatively low impact. Again, I'm not doing this necessarily as slowly as it would go and I'm not applying full power. This is just so you can see the basic mechanics of the movement. You can also work down in a similar kind of way. But a good position to contact the, the quads is, is here and we can, again, we can iron. This time I'm actually doing a knuckle ironing. We can take any line through the quads that, that feels appropriate. Around the knee, it's good to take time to really spread and smooth the fascia that actually surrounds the patella. And you can also use the chiseling movements around Yeah, but particularly sporty people with very tight quads or ITB. This is where to to work. 
this tension in the quads actually is going to tend to pull the kneecap out of its <coughs> sort of true and good alignment. Okay, more work on the ITB and we'll leave the quads in side position. This time with the upper leg flexed, we have, we can iron and <coughs> you just angle it so you can go down the posterior border of the ITB. You're working really into the space between the ITB and the hamstrings. Or you can take that down the more down the anterior border. So again we're getting between the ITB and the quads. And we can use <coughs> you know, with fist fingers or forearm we can chisel in a series of short oblique strokes moving off the ITB into the surrounding tissue. Again, we can work the fascia around the patella. Okay, pop onto your back, please. Briefly. Quad stretches and mobilizations obviously needs chest to here and for the, the ITV taking the leg across the body and these can all be done as contract relaxed stretches. Open your front for a moment. And again, obvious ones for quads, either one sided or both sided, are these ones from the general sequence. Another way you can approach the ITV is as part of the um, the leg lift you come up across drop the leg down and you can actually get quite an effective ironing on the ITB and the weight of the leg is actually contributing to that so that's another way in which you can you, you can get <coughs> at the ITB and stretch it. Okay, I think we're about done with that little group. <clears throat>